In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss another sorting algorithm, which is insertion sort. So I'll cover how insertion sort works and its implementation using C and Java code. So uh, let's first understand how insertion sort sort an unsorted array. So let's suppose I have an unsorted array. So how insertion sort work is, so we traverse an array from left to right I mean in this way and we take each items of an array and compare it to items on its left so we compare f for with the item present in its left to with the item present in its left so let's start uh, step by step and we will see how insertion sort works so let's say I have this unsorted array and it has following element 5, 4, 2, 9 and 1. We start with element 5. It is the first element present in an array and there are no element present in its left. So we move to next element which is 4. And the 4 is compared with the element present in its left so only one element is present in its left which is 5 so we move 4 to its correct position and 4 is moved here at 0th index then 5 then 2 then 9 and then 1 next element is 2 which is compared with 5 and 4 and now let's move 2 to its correct position which is 2, 4, 5, 9 and 1. Next element is 9 which is already present at its correct position and after 9 the next element is 1. So 1 is compared with 9 then 5 then 4 then 2 so 1 is moved to its correct position and 1 then 2 then 4 then 5 then 9 so now this array is sorted and this is how insertion sort works so let's see uh, the java code in which we have implemented insertion sort algorithm so let's move to java code and so this is the logic of insertion sort and let's understand it so this is my array unsorted array and i have declared few variables stamp and j and i am traversing an array from first position so now at first position so i have an element 4 so let's 4 is assigned in a tam and the value of j is i minus 1 so the current value of i is 1 so the value of j is 0 and what i in this condition what i am doing is i am checking whether j is greater than 0 and element present at j is greater than the element present at tam so element present at tamp is 4 and the element present at j so j is the previous element and which is 5 so remember we compare elements so we compare 4 to the element present in its left which is 5 so yes the element 5 is greater than 4 so so we move 4 to its correct position so in j plus 1 we moved j so 5 is moved at first position and we have decremented the value of j and we moved 4 at it uh, at 0th position so after first loop so the value of j is 0 and in this position the value of j becomes minus 1 and this loop will not work as uh, see the condition is j is greater than equal to 0 now 
here v minus 1 plus 1 which is 0 and at 0th index we put temp and the value of temp is 4 so 4 is moved to its correct position so after first iteration now the array becomes 4 then 5 then 2 then 9 and then 1 now the value of i after first iteration is 2 so the element present at second index is 2 and the value assign a temp is 2 the value of j is i minus 1 so the value of i is 2 then the value of j is 1 and in this condition we are checking if j is greater than or equal to 0 so the first condition is satisfied and the array j is greater than temp so the value at first index is greater than 2 yes so what we do is we put 2 in this position and 5 in this position and we decremented the value of j so the value of j becomes 0 and again we compare so the 2 comes at first position now it's compared with 4 and again we move 2 here and 4 here so and after this this iteration so we have array like this 2 then 4 then 5 then 9 then 1 now we have uh, after that now the value of i becomes 3 so in temp we have at third position we have value 9 so and the value of j becomes 2 the first condition is true and the second is array j the value present at previous index i mean if is greater than the value present at current index so this condition is false so this time this loop will not work and we move to next uh, element which is one so in the same way we move one here so this is how insertion short works and uh, it, this is the java implementation of insertion sort and in the main method i have declared an array and i'll pass this array i to insertion sort and i i i'm sorting this unsorted array using insertion sort and then i'm printing the sorted array so if i run this code you can see the output now it's a sorted array now let's see the c implementation so in c code i have declared few variables here and i am taking the size uh, of an array and then i am taking the input values sorry i am taking the number of elements from a user and then i am taking uh, the values of an array from a user and now this is the insertion sort logic which i have explained it to you uh, and and after that i have printed the sorted element so this is uh, how insertion sort works and in my previous tutorial i have discussed selection sort and bubble sort the link of both the video tutorial are present in the description box and you can uh, for more such uh, programming tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can and for coding links you can uh, visit to our website which is webrewrite.com and thanks for watching this video